Hello and welcome to another in the series, Consumer Reviews by Nancy Conrad. Today's issue of Talking Techie is about AV Demux, which is a free video editor designed for simple cutting, filtering, and encoding. In this video, we'll be looking at what is AVI Demux, how to install it, and an example of how I used it. You know, I have a simple task that needs to be done. Just extract a piece of a video file and save it separately. I don't want to have to use a complicated video editor to make a simple cut from an existing video. I check on the internet for how to trim an MP4 file led me to this particular article by techsupportalert.com. So clicking on that link took me to Gizmos. And the top one on the list, as we can see here, is something called AVID Emux. And according to Gizmos, this is a free video cutting and joining software, and it's simple to use. The problem I ran into is that my video editing software tends to want to make a project of everything. All I want to do is split my file into one or more parts, uh, get rid of the garbage, and save it. In the uh, techsupportalert.com top of the page led to this quick selection guide. Good. So I'm going to click now on Avidimux SourceForge.net. <clears throat> Anything coming out of SourceForge is open software, and I uh, really like that. So clicking on the Avidimux homepage led to this particular display. Well, I do want to do a download, so I'm going to click on Downloads. Here's the Windows section that gives you the option of downloading a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system uh, software design. I'm going to select the 64-bit, and I'm going to go to Berlioz to do that. Now that I've gotten here, the download starts automatically. And you can see here it's the win64.exe. OK, so I'm going to double click on a Vitamux and get the installation started. Click Run. OK, so here we have the 64-bit release setup wizard. And I'm going to click Next. License agreement, I agree. I'm going to select a standard ins install. I'll take quick launch, startup, definitely on my desktop for the present time, absolutely. And it's going, that'll be the new folder. Next, it's going into program files, install. Okay, we're at the finish menu. We'll look at the change log. We'll run it as soon as we click finish. Here's the standard window you get when you open a Vitamux. The video decoder is unspecified. Video output is copy. Audio output is copy. And they have an AVI muxer. Now I know I'm going to be opening an MP4 file that I want to trim in three different places. So let's go ahead and open that file. That's this one right here, open. And notice that the window automatically expands to accommodate the size or the frame size. The video decoder automatically selects lav codec. Video output, I'm going to select MPEG-4 ABC X264 because that's what I tend to see in my video software. I'm going to leave audio output as output format. I'm going to choose MP4 Muxer. OK, I'm ready now to select my first section of this uh, video file. So what I'm going to do is start playing the file. I'm going to put my finger on the space bar. As soon as I see the section where I want to start my cut, I'll hit Enter start the process. OK, so I hit Enter. The fine tuning can actually occur in my video project files. While the video is stopped, I use the square bracket, left square bracket, to set my left point, my left cut. And notice that it's basically showing that 
what you want is all of the video except this front portion. So I'm going to hit enter again, not enter, but the space bar. Hello and welcome to another in the series, Consumer Reviews by Nancy Conrad. I hit enter again, and now I'm going to use the right square bracket. And this basically is the cut that I want. Okay. At this point, it looks like the first section of my video is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to click the Save button. I don't have to do any trimming. This automatically is trimming it for me. It's saving it here in this particular folder, and I'm going to call it. It doesn't matter. It can't. It's going to come out as an MP4. Save. It's encoding. My All right, here's my Nancy Avid 1 MP4. I'm going to drop this onto the VLC media player. Hello, and welcome to another in the series, Consumer Reviews by Nancy Okay, that's Conrad. basically what I wanted. It accomplished uh, pulling out the uh, file easily. A-V-I-D-E-M-U-X. What a strange name. How do you pronounce it? Turns out their forum was asked that very question. The name comes from AVI, which is Audio Video Interleave, and the term Demux. So putting the two together, it's AV Demux. For videographer pros, AVI Demux offers many other features, including sophisticated video quality editing. This product comes highly recommended. Now, no matter how you pronounce it, whether you say it correctly, AV Demux or AVI Demux or SourceForge Demux or as I did so often in the video, a Vitamux. However you pronounce it, this product is the berries. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us and be sure to watch all of the videos from Upham's Corner News and Nancy Conrad, including Talking Techie and Save Our Planet.